Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to get started with editing our templates. So we can see if we jump across we've got the login template and it looks pretty ugly to be honest but it's serving a purpose and it does work so we don't really want to do anything to the logic we just want to make sure that the template looks all right. So as part of like the new Symfony 2.7 setup the idea is that everything sort of lives in your app resources. So all your views and stuff is going to live in your app resources. It used to be that you would have, say, multiple bundles under here, and then each of the bundles would have a resources folder. Uh, but the, generally, the best practices are, are steering more towards this layout. So that's what I'm going to go with. But the Foz user documentation does actually contain a way of doing it the, the sort of the other way by going down like the bundle inheritance route. So if you're interested in that, I'll link to that in the show notes. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is just created or just changed the base layout. So the, the standard Symfony, um, like the, the demo application, sorry, that's not the right page. Um, the standard Symfony demo application comes with um, like the working sort of template, but I've edited that to include Bootstrap. And that's why you can see that on, on the other page there that the layout has slightly changed from the previous video. Now everything's there that was there, it's just uh, I'm overriding it with some additional stuff. I've also got this content and then I've gone ahead and updated that other um, template from what the default controller is using uh, and just changed that from body to content and that's about it. There's some style sheets and stuff that's getting brought in but now you can see it's it's more bootstrappy than it was so what I want to do is take that login template and do the same thing to that. Now the idea is that we're going to take what's in the vendor, friends of Symphony, user bundle, resources, views uh, and all these different things in here is what we actually want to change. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually just copy the whole lot out. And there's one thing to be aware of, and that's just that we've got to make sure that we name this folder structure properly. So to make this work, what we need to do is under resources, we need to create a new folder called Foz user bundle. And also under that, we need to have a views directory. So it's, it's kind of weird and, and generally what I find is I usually either mess it up by putting the bundle under views or at the wrong level in the hierarchy or something and then it doesn't work. But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. Uh, and then I'm just pasting all of that stuff in. So effectively now we're using this content as opposed to the content that was in the, the vendor directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually close that whole thing down. Uh, and then with the layout here what we want to do is actually change this up a little bit as well. We do want all this other good stuff in here because that's part of like the logic side of it, but we don't want the HTML, um, like the wrapper to actually turn it into a full web page. So instead I'm going to go ahead and put this inside our block content. So block, that's not right, block content, which means it's going to inherit from into our base, into this content area. So everything's going to go inside our bootstrap container, which is nice. And then end block here uh, and maybe just space this out a little bit nicer. Let's tab that out, make it look pretty. Uh, and then what we want to do is do a um, extends and then our base. So is it going to, yeah, nicely it remembers all our template names and so on. Right. So if we then go ahead and go to our login template with a bit of luck, we should not have anything working. That's great. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got our template. Have I messed this up? Resources, Foz user bundle, views, layout. We are extending the layout. Let's just double check this. View. Uh, what have we got? This may be down to caching. Let's just clear off the cache. App console. If this is the cache, then what we need to do is just add in a twig. Uh, config element to, oh, we also need to start up that server as well. That would have caught me out, definitely. Server, run. So let's just refresh this, make sure it's behaving. So you can see there, what, what's happened is we've got a bit of caching going on with our templates. This is something that you've got to be aware of. Um, if we go into config and we want to go into config dev, because we only want to do this in dev. Now, if we look at our config, our main, um, we can see in here we've got twig set up. Uh, what we want to do is add in something just for our dev environment, which says twig uh, cache. How are we doing this cache? And we want to do false. So probably need to clear the cache off again there just to kick that into action uh, and then start up the server. Uh, just been a little bit impatient with that there. And then refresh. 
we should be good to go. So yeah, what we're getting now is you can see the bootstrap styling is applied and, and if we make a change to this now, so let's just close this down, uh, go into our, where are we? So we want to go into security, login, and in here we want to say, uh, we'll just add in a H1 tag just to sort of show that it's working or whatever. And then just refresh that and it all being well, yeah, we get it straight away. So I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly show you an example of switching out the custom styling, sorry, the, the default styling with some custom styling from Bootstrap. And I'm by no means a CSS expert. In fact, I find this CSS is one of the most tricky things that I do as a developer. Um, I don't particularly like it. And you'll see at the end of this, the, the outcome's not brilliant, but it does sort of highlight the fact that we've got Bootstrap styles been applied to our login form. 